But I was watching the tremors today in the area of the Schwarzenegger volcanic system. I noticed something very unusual. A cluster of the earthquakes, they're not a, a swarm, they're a cluster. And in the area near the Blue Lagoon, and you can see it here again, where the to the left and here to the right, you can see that. And uh, when you look at the location, the location is at the Blue Lagoon. The depth of it is interesting, 0 0.1 kilometer, 100 meters. Very tiny tremors. And again, they continue. They started by 10, 15 around that time. And they continued up to 12 o'clock. So this unusual uh, Blue Lagoon earthquakes was detected and was a source of worry. It was very unusual. They turned up to be unusual and unnatural. Blue Lagoon, without announcing it, it seems had some uh, uh, construction doing at a depth of the less than 100 meters. Probably taking advantage of the all these uh, hot rocks underneath to produce more energy, extend their work, produce more energy, provide more customers with the uh, energy that they have. And surprisingly, in that area, we don't have... Uh, any eruption but we have lots of steam as you can see here this is a steam from the previous features this is the precipitation in the form of rain and the snow evaporating when they come in contact with the hot rocks at the depth also we have this and surprisingly enough surprisingly enough i should say a later this uh, cluster of earthquakes was eliminated they were unnatural nothing related to the system of the sourcing volcanic system our colleagues in the Icelandic Meteorological Office deleted them from the data. I have a video about the current situation in that area. Watch that, please. The earthquakes in the whole Iceland seems a little bit slower than the previous uh, update that I had. And I had it a few days ago. This is the IMO update I'm talking about. And we see, you can see this is North Atlantic. You can see that all along the plate boundary we have earthquakes. Recently just reduced in the Reckonus Peninsula especially. Most of the concentration is actually in the Krisovic area, volcanic system of the Krisovic, which is now subsiding because of the uh, earthquakes. You can see that in the Reykjanes Peninsula, they show that GPS data and the interferometrogram shows that we don't have much uh, uplift in respect to the previous uh, reference point of the 9th of October. So it's quite calm in that sense. And uh, we have the information that for, from the previous eruptions that we had around 31 to 96 or 99 million cubic meters of the magma was necessary to build up enough pressure to actually erupt. So there is a big uncertainty in this, uh, uh, in this interval. So uh, there is a possibility that we have the eruption in the late October to the early November, anytime between 1st to the 10th of the November. Next update of the IMO, surprisingly, will not be other than in the 11th of the November. So there is a chance that we have. We have in this uh, period of time that we will see a lot of steam rising due to the precipitation on the hot lava, creating this steam it may be normal, but we have in the previous uh, cases of something like that happening. The latest uh, data shows that the risk assessment re stays the same. In the fissure area, we have the highest risk and the risk reduces as we go further away from it. So this is the latest update on that. And also, uh, this is the text of the brief update. I have the full in the full update in the description part and also in the uh, YouTube uh, post uh, section that you can see that there is some uncertainty as I mentioned the next update will be November 11th Crystal Week is actually uh, is uh, some, uh, some earthquakes continuing the land is sinking in that area building a magma chamber so porosity of the rock is practically increasing so in the Swarsengi we don't have that uh, much uplift at the moment and this is all that we can say at the moment so we have 12, uh, 14 million cubic meters of the magma under the Swartzengi multiplied by three density of the basalt almost. That makes it to 42 million cubic meters or megaton of magma.